controversial plan by the Army Corps of Engineers to protect our coastline from climate change has local elected leaders very worried about losing tourism dollars and a lot more than that. But, but can they convince them to change the plan? Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live with more. They are certainly trying as they balance really trying to safeguard our community from the impacts of sea level rise while at the same time preserving this really important view for the local economy. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is working on a plan to fortify the coast from sea level rise and storm surge. So elevating about 5,800 structures. But in dispute, their idea of a large concrete flood wall visually represented here by Miami's Downtown Development Authority that city leaders say would sink property values and impact quality of life. It's a unified position we've taken between the county, the private industry, and our local government uh, to really stand shoulder to shoulder, not against the Army Corps, but to say you must come up with a better plan. So our first line of defense is this oyster reef. An alternative solution presented to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers at a recent Miami City Commission meeting, rendering showing a hybrid approach, lower walls paired with nature-based solutions. At this meeting, City Commissioners Manolo Reyes and Ken Russell convincing the Army Corps of Engineers to agree to put in writing language that says they will consider alternative solutions. We got some experts so we can figure out the language and um, uh, and and reach an agreement. I think when I was a commissioner, and as a commissioner, I wrote a letter with my concerns about the proposal that it didn't incorporate some of the natural solutions uh, that are really critical, uh, some natural barrier islands, some mangroves. Miami-Dade County is the project's non-federal sponsor. Today, the county mayor telling us we are not moving forward without those things being in the plan. And she is the ultimate decision maker. That's because Miami-Dade County is the non-federal sponsor to this project. We have so much more for you right now on Local10.com. There you can take a deep dive into the details of this project and revisit those renderings. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.